Hello, this is my ninth tutorial in 3D Rad, and this tutorial is going to be about how to make an FPS game for 3D Rad. Now, first open up SketchUp and then make your model. So, I'm gonna have to make my model first, delete the default, and then um, the model. By the way, um, you can um, get uh, um, um, the plugins and everything from um, my fourth tutorial, so just um, go there or subscribe or whichever. So, um, now go on the machine gun. You can choose something else, but um, I'm gonna choose machine gun. But it's re it's recommended that you do machine gun because um just for the tutorial, but then after you can you should do um other ones. Okay, now just look at the size of it, and then and then just check yeah it's thirteen meters. So now I'm gonna shorten it by doing clicking on S, then just going like this. Shorter, yeah you see it's going shorter. Now um put it on the line, yeah, on the origin. Now measure it again. Yeah, that should be okay. It usually takes a long time, but um if you're lucky then um like me, then um you can um do it in less time like this, okay? So now go on plugins. No wait first click on it once like you already it's if, if it's already selected then you don't have to do it right click it then click on flip along and then go on component screen like this so you won't have to flip everything after okay so now go on plugins 3d rad and then go on to um skin mesh with back faces and now i'm gonna put it in test but um you can do something different so um now I get my weapon. Now do not do not cl click on yes unless you want to save your SketchUp model, since your model is already saved onto 3D Red, so you don't have to really sk save your SketchUp. So now click on no. And now um I'm gonna go on to 3D Red. Now I'm gonna put my model in. Just go to skin mesh, then click on change, then go on to the one that the one the name that you put in. Mine is test, so um yours could be whatever you put in. Okay, so now I got my weapon. And now um, I'm gonna put in my terrain. Okay, now I'm gonna add a Cam first person. Okay, and now the weapon, just move it a bit. Just move the weapon a bit. There. And then maybe a bit to the, like that. So you mi might not have to modify it. But you might have to, but um, still. Now, related terrain to the cam first person. And now add a force and later the cam first person do not relate the cam first person to the skin mesh otherwise um still will cause some problems the script is already making it kind of related so I can make a script um, the script I'm gonna s put in the description so um no need to worry about it now click on OK Relate the script to the camp first person and the skin mesh, specifically in that order. Now, double click script, and then um, change object 3 as the skin mesh object to object 22. You do not particularly need to do that, but um, this one you do not need to. But this, the ones with the commands, you need to. So change object 3 to object 22s. So now, once you've got that, now check now you got this moving 
with you. So now, um, just um to move um, your gun arrow keys. So now, um, once you've done, tried that. Now you might have to go up a bit. Might the gun might have to go up a bit, like this. Yes, that sh that could be a bit closer. Now maybe put it a bit bit closer. So maybe zero. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. I'll go with that. So I'm gonna save my. No, actually, I'm not gonna save it yet. Now, um, I'm gonna go on to my rigid body. That's gonna be my projectile. So, um, now, um, click on spear two meters. Use bound in CS body. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Okay, now once I've got that, then I'm gonna put put it next to the gun. Okay, now I'm gonna add my projectile thing. So now I'm gonna twist it like this. Just um, maybe m try to align it so it looks realistic once you shoot it. So now click on projectile and then um, click on projectile once I mean and click on rigid body. It's gonna be one of them. And then the rigid body is click on projectile, okay? Gonna be your projectile. And make related to the cam first person also, and make it your parent. So now um, look at the projectile, and once you move it, then the projectile moves also. So that's what you want. Now, click on group. You want to group the project the body and projectile just for now, and to move it. So now move it up, and maybe now let the put. The thing is a bit too high now, so maybe a bit lower. Where put it? It's a bit too. So I'm just gonna. You just have to move it and then um. Make the arrow just um. Close enough. So now I'm gonna. Yeah, that's very close. So I'm gonna move it uh, just very slightly. Now my. Arrows there. So now to stop displaying the arrow, then click on projectile twice, and then dis undo display arrow. And once you've got got it aligned, then un just delete the group. Okay. Now um now you do not have anything shooting yet. So to do that, click on event on input. Then relate it to the projectile. So now the rigid, the projectile will start when um, it clicks on enter. So now you see it's gonna f it's gonna float, but that's not what you want. So relate the rigid body to the G force. So now it drops down also, and relate it to the terrain so it can hit the terrain. So it's realistic. Now click on um. Now click on projectile, and you can make the parameters, make it go faster, and make it um stay um less time in the air, or more time. But um, I did less time since I did two seconds. Yeah, look at the projectile. You'll see the projectile unless you're blind, of course. Okay, so now um. That should be it for today, and I'll put the script in the description. So, bye-bye.